Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Debt Repair video. In today's episode, we'll be working on a MacBook a Model A1708. This unit was mailed into us for multiple repairs. So let's go ahead and get into it. Between the pentalobe screws all around the sides here. So these are longer, these are shorter, and then these are the shortest. Uh, just make sure you put the screws back in the right locations or else you'll punch some holes through the top case there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use a suction cup here. Place it at the bottom and pull up. And once those are unclipped, we're just gonna push outward with our thumb here and pull backwards towards ourselves to get the bottom case released, just like that. And then we're gonna set that aside. Alrighty, so now that we have the unit open, we're gonna first remove this little taped on cover here. Set that aside. Unplug the battery daughter board flex cable here from the main board. We're gonna leave it attached on that side because we're not replacing the battery. And we're gonna go ahead and take a T5 screwdriver and unscrew the main battery connection point here and make sure we bend that up so the unit doesn't turn on while we're in here. All right, so now that we've disconnected the battery using that same T5 bit, we're gonna go ahead and remove the screw that holds the Wi-Fi cables in place as well as the screws that hold the Wi-Fi assembly and LCD assembly in place right here. Again, this is a T5 screwdriver. All right, so now we're gonna switch to a T3 bit and remove the two screws on either of the LCD hinge covers here on both sides, as well as the hinge covers themselves. And we're gonna remove these four screws here on either side. Uh, these hold the LCD to the top case as well. And using that same T3 bit, we're gonna go ahead and remove the four screws that hold on the LCD connection. All right, so now we're gonna to switch to a T8 bit and remove the three screws on both the LCD hinges here. And now we're gonna use a PL1 to remove all of the screws holding in the Wi-Fi assembly vent module here. All right, so after unscrewing all of those, we're gonna start by disconnecting the LCD connector from the assembly here, unplugging the Wi-Fi cables, and then we're gonna go ahead and pop out this Wi-Fi vent module first here, set that aside. And now we can go ahead and open up the unit to disconnect the top case from the LCD assembly. And once you open it up about that far, just pull upwards and it'll pop off like that. So now we have our top case and logic board completely separated from our bad LCD. We're just gonna set that aside. All right, so we're gonna start by unboxing our fresh LCD here that we're gonna be putting in this unit. Uh, and if you're looking for any parts or tools, check out the links below. If you're interested in mail-in repair or data recovery service, check us out at techdup.com. We do it all every day. Push backwards just to open the hinges up. They're very hard to open when they're super low like that with your thumb, but once you get them started, uh, you can go ahead and push them open. So that's our brand new LCD. All we're gonna do here, take our top case, Make sure you grab everything here. Line it up. Go here at click in and then hold the hinges and lower the top case down. Just like that. Uh, if you're noticing that you're missing either of these black pieces or the main LCD connector, it means it's trapped under the top case. It won't close all the way. Open it up and try again. I like to just make sure that these sit in place nicely before I do anything else here. So the very first thing we're going to do after we get all that in is get the Wi-Fi vent module back installed, feeding the two Wi-Fi antennas through that hole as well as the securing bracket and slotting that into place. There we go. So we're gonna start back with the T8 screwdriver one more time here. And we're gonna install these six screws on either side. I like to start with the middle one and go ahead and tighten that down and then work my way outward. Now you can do it any fashion you like. It doesn't necessarily matter as long as all the screws go back where they came from. So the only thing that does matter when you're tightening down these LCD screws here on either of the hinges, make sure you get them nice and snug. If these loosen up, your LCD will be, it may open or close without you doing it. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and open it back up and tighten those screws back down. First things I'm gonna do here is connect Wi-Fi cables, sorry, the Wi-Fi antenna 
one is here. Uh, this can be tricky. I usually recommend using a fingernail. It helps you kind of guide it and position it well. All right, there we are. Uh, next, we're just going to go ahead and connect this LCD connector here. There we are. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use our PL1 screwdriver again and screw in all the screws that hold the Wi-Fi vent module in place. Okay, so using a T5 screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and take our special screw here where the Wi-Fi antenna is. And it's just gonna keep those secure so they don't knock loose. And then we're gonna take our other four T5 screws, the four screws that hold the Wi-Fi and LCD connection in place here. I like to get all of them started before I screw them all the way in just to make sure everything lines up nicely and you don't have any chance of, you know, stripping something or messing something up here. And using a T3 bit here, we're just gonna screw in four screws that additionally hold in the LCD here. And keeping that same T3 bit, we're gonna go ahead and screw the LCD retention bars in here, starting with the top one. Moving on to the bottom one here. And one more time with that T3 bit. First thing first, we're just gonna install our LCD hinge covers here, like so. We're gonna take that T3 bit and screw in the two screws, respectively, that hold in these covers here. All right, so just a few things left here. We're gonna take our T5 screwdriver and this very large plated screw here and get the contact points for the battery screwed all the way down. We're gonna take our battery management unit flex cable here. Sometimes it likes to get stuck to itself. Just peel the, the tape back a little bit and put the tape back down. Last thing to do inside here is place this cover back where it was. And then we're gonna put the bottom uh, case back on. So there are some fingers at the top here. Uh, you are gonna go ahead and line those up with the fingers marked on the top case here. I like to do one side at a time, line it up and give it a little push. You'll see it'll close at the top here. Just watch this side, there you go. And then you can push down. You'll hear a couple pops on both sides. That's just the bottom case closing. And again, just a few little clicks here as the bottom case closes. So when you put your bottom case screws back in, make sure you put them in the right spot. The two longest ones go on the top sides here, on the left and right. And then the two long ones, but slightly shorter than the top ones, go in the corners. And the two shortest ones go right in the center here. And these are pentalobe screws, remember that. Don't use the wrong bit, you might strip them out. And that is how you replace the LCD on a MacBook Pro 13 inch model A1708. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the links below for mail-in repairs. See you guys next time.